Hello and welcome back to my channel. If the title of this video is confusing to you, I understand. Because if you've watched my other videos, you know that I don't live alone. I am in fact married, so I live with a man. Ew. So no, I technically don't live alone, but my husband has gone on a trip for the remainder of the week and weekend. So technically, I am gonna be living alone for like the next four days. So I know what you're thinking. You're probably like, okay, you're a freak. That's not called living alone. And I get it. Yeah, it's not really what living alone feels like. But, but just hear me out, okay? Hear me out. This is a big deal for me. I have never in my life lived alone. The thing I remotely came close to living alone was when I first moved to Seattle and I had my own little studio, but I was barely there because I was always at my now husband's place. So really when I came to the realization about in a couple weeks that I would be spending a ton of time alone because I knew he was leaving town, I had some time to think to myself like, Whoa, okay. I was like, wow, I think this might be the first time in my entire life of really kind of living alone or being alone for more than 36 hours. I grew up in a household uh, with both parents and two siblings. And then I went from there directly to college where I always had roommates all throughout college. And then even in post-grad, I never lived alone. I always lived with friends and roommates. And then from there, got married shortly after. So I realized I just never had time to live alone. And it's interesting because this past year or so, I've really been in my introvert era. And that in itself is very new to me because I am a former very severe extrovert. Like I just, I don't want to be alone. I, I don't have fun by myself. I was always with friends. I mean, when in high school, it was bad. Like, and I come from a happy family where being at home wasn't too bad, but I wanted to be out of that house all day long, all night long, just with friends. Like being home, I remember one time my mom sat me down and she was like, can you just be home this weekend? Just." just stay put, just rest. And it was, it felt like I was being grounded, which she wasn't even grounding me. But I was like, what? I cannot stay home this weekend. And that is the me I've known all my life. So this new me where I really enjoy and love being alone is so new to me. I decided whenever my husband told me about this trip, I was like, okay, I'm gonna use those days to really explore this new me, this new introverted me. So anyway, I'm really excited about the next few days and what's to come. I honestly don't know. I, I might get bored. I might get lonely. I could see that. I might end up calling a friend SOS being like, hey, can I come over? Can we grab dinner? Can we, you know, do this or that? But yeah, we'll have to see. The one thing I'm worried about is I am a really big scaredy cat and I do not say that lightly. Like even all throughout my childhood into my teens, there'd be times where my sisters would wake up with me in their bed because I had a scary dream or something, saw something in my room or I heard something and I like ran to their bed. Um, that's happened to my roommates. I, it's just, it's how I am. So I am scared of the nighttime. I'm like, am I gonna be okay? Like, you know, our house is old. It can creak here and there. Am I gonna be like, what was that? What was that? And just not be able to sleep well? It's possible and I'm aware and I'm gonna brace myself for it. But I don't want that to dampen my living alone experience for the next few days. Who knows, maybe if I like the next few days, I'm gonna be one of those people who take solo trips. Like that was, un that was unimaginable for me before. I was like, why would you ever take a solo trip? That sounds so boring. But now I'm like, I can, I kind of get it. I kind of get the charm of it, I do. So let's let the living alone experiment begin. Great. Had a really 
great day so far. The house to myself. My newfound introverted soul is very happy. I'm really craving um, tomato spaghetti, like Pomodoro. white shirt to eat red pasta, so <laughs> time to watch more Dr. Slump. My very weird breakfast ready okay so I have my green smoothie and then I have toast with some raspberry jam and then this is the Trader Joe's chicken it's like pre-made pre-packaged you just have to microwave it but it tastes really good so I'm like I kind of almost craving it the, my three kind of morning cravings if you will not your most aesthetic breakfast but I'm pretty excited about it. Here's the thing about living alone. Day two. Yes, I'm such a grown up. I'm actually really enjoying it. But at night, it's so scary. Every little creak or thing you hear from the outside. I These are things I didn't even hear, I, th I feel like, whenever my husband's here. But in the daytime... I'm ready to go. My sleep last night I don't think was as deep because <clears throat> I was a little scared. But hopefully tonight it'll be deeper. Maybe if I vlog before going to bed, it'll make me feel like I have some people with me. I have a call in about 45 minutes and I need to look a little bit more presentable for that. So I'm gonna get ready for that. And then tomorrow's kind of rainy, so I feel like I'm not gonna wanna leave the house. So I'm actually gonna run a couple errands today. I kinda wanna take you guys around with me doing errands by myself. Uh, regular? 
I am back home. Why is it that I feel like I step out and I spend an immediate $100? I guess if I just wanna save money, I gotta sit my ass at home. Dinner, I am craving sweet and spicy squid. That's what I'm gonna make. Okay, you guys, Dr. Slump is really cute. I'm liking it. Since last night, I couldn't really sleep that well. Tonight, I'm trying with the sound machine on. Seeing if that'll ease whatever it is and put me to sleep better. Honestly, I feel like the nighttime is definitely when I don't feel like I'm enjoying living alone. I do miss the hubs. The bed feels quite big without. Well, at least I have my K dramas. <laughs> yeah, it's not as exciting. I realize I owed an email, so I've been procrastinating on showering and I'd rather do work, but I have to shower. I have to shower. I showered. I am going to make something I like to call a whatever is in the fridge stir fry. And I'm also gonna add these noodles. This could turn out to be a disaster. We shall see. Bathroom cleaning done. Mm. So sweet. Day three, living alone. Check in. Um, I like it. Do I miss my husband? Yes. I can't wait for him to come home tomorrow. Especially because the nights are a little scary. But I get it. I get the zen. I get the appeal. Okay, so another thing I wanted to do today was organize my closet. Let me show you how crazy it looks in there. I have a small closet. Um, I feel like I have an average amount of clothes compared to any woman in their 30s. But let me show you how crazy it looks. And then we can do some organization. Do I want to show you this? Da-da-da-da! 
Okay, actually, it doesn't look that bad. <laughs> I mean, look at, like, what is this, you know? Piling Also, this is the first cheese board I've made all by myself, and I'm gonna say I'm pretty proud of it. Look at this. It's like the perfect size just for me. I have my pickles, my olives, salami, and I bought this. This is the bread that I bought, you guys, at that um, bread uh, bakery. So this is like very high quality made French baguette. I really feel like I'm living the dream, honestly. In my hand, I have poppy with some ice in it. This is orange flavor. I wanted to try something citrusy because uh, you probably know from my other vlog, I don't, I don't do drinking. No, I'll drink with people, even then minimally. <sighs> okay, so I'm really excited for Queen of Tears. I purposely didn't watch any trailer or any TikToks about it, but it, it's been highly anticipated. I feel like a lot of people are talking about this drama, so please, I'm hoping it's good. I'm hoping it's really good. And I usually don't start watching dramas as soon as they drop, because I like to binge, if you can't already tell. Um, but I'm like, you know what? I have a free Saturday night. I have my cheese board ready. <sighs> I'm like 10 minutes in to the episode and I already need a refill. Damn, I should have eaten a bigger dinner or something. Anyway, this is pretty good so far. I'm I'm like, I haven't checked my phone once. I've just been, I'm, I'm tuned in. So I'd recommend for now. Oh, <laughs> uh, 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 u